corsage and I already wired one of them and put the baby's breath on just so we can shorten the video. So basically you want to have your rose and I use an ultra fine wire um, or you can use the next gauge up and just use one but I like to do two in a cross pattern. Um, I also have these wet paper towels that I cut into little squares and if you use this technique um, you'll be able to uh, do your corsage up to three days in advance and um, I want to make sure that the baby's breath is kind of short on there. So you put your baby's breath around there and if you had fresh greenery, I'm using some silk leaves that I have right at this moment, you put the wet paper towel around there and just tape. Like I said, you could use uh, fresh leaves like that, and that's just as pretty. But I'm just, I'm just using these for the sake of. Sometimes people have these, and it's a quick way to do a corsage. So basically, you're gonna put your leaves on there, and you're gonna tape. Again, everything is taping. I have the basic generic uh, wristlet here, so you're gonna take. The first rows and you're going to put it on top, bend that over, hold that with your fingers if you can, and then you're going to tape around. Make sure to tear the tape off toward the inside of the corsage so that it does not come out in the back. This also hides the, um, the back part of the corsage. And then you're going to add your second flower. And now you have these leaves, which can be folded around. You're going to bend this over. And you're going to do the exact same thing, tape. And if you have your bows already done ahead of time, you can just put your bow right on the front. You're going to hold that with your thumb, put your tape through. take your clippers and you're going to cut that and you're going to roll that up and the bottom part is not seen and now you have a wrist corsage. You can wear it up or down but that's just a basic um, wrist corsage with two roses.